people, I'm so excited, it's now lunch time and we will have 5 lunch smoothies for the office. So, uh, I will be using a portable blender like Blendjet because even if the office don't have a blender, you can just bring your own. Anyways, you can check my review somewhere here or here. Okay people, so here are the 5 recipes we will cover. Oh, and then we will have taste testing with Mike. Okay, let's start making smoothies. Time for the Keto Raspberry Cheesecake Smoothie. So, we will need half a cup of almond milk. Like this. Then we have like one fifth of a cream cheese package. My cream cheese package is 250 grams. Okay, inside. Now, we have one tablespoon of sweetener. Then we have half a cup of raspberries. Okay, now we just need a little bit of vanilla extract. You know, this is just a little bit, so like half a teaspoon or something like this. Depending on how strong your extract is. Nice! Okay, people, now it's time for the fun part. We just put our lid on and we push the button. One, two, three! Oh, this looks ready. Very nice. Okay, so here we put in the glass right now. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Okay, so here is our Kido Raspberry Cheesecake Smoothie. We will now put this in the fridge and together with the other ones. Okay, people, so who is ready for the green smoothie with avocado and spinach? So what we will use? First, we will need to get the avocado out of the avocado with a spoon. So if you have a big avocado, you can like put half of one or if you have a small one like me now, uh, you can just put the whole thing inside. Now, time for some spinach. And now to, you know, make it nice and sweet and smooth and creamy, we add some banana. And then we put our almond milk inside. Okay, maybe I should have put the almond milk first because it's a little bit hard to put it all inside now. Anyways, let's put the lid on and let's get going. Green smoothie, time for action. Okay, give a good shake because actually I put a little bit too much of food inside. Okay, maybe it's ready now. So, here is my green smoothie. Let's put it in the fridge. Okay, people, time for the protein blueberry smoothie. So, let's just put, uh, I have, uh, you know, one cup with frozen bananas and frozen blueberries, like halfway. Okay, then we're going to add a little bit of milk. Okay, it's getting a little bit full, so I will blend it a little bit and then I'm going to add my protein powder. Let's go! Okay, time to add some protein powder. Okay, to be honest people, I'm putting a little bit too much in all this blender because I'm like, you know, like pushing it to the limit. So at home, maybe put a little bit less food in here and uh, actually I think this will be better.
Okay, so some people just want coffee with everything, so we will make a coffee smoothie. So what do we have? We have one nice strong coffee. Okay, then we have one teaspoon of cocoa powder. And then normally uh, you can use Greek yogurt, but uh, I didn't have Greek yogurt, I had sour cream, so let's go East European style. A few pieces of frozen banana, just for the nice flavor. And you know, banana they just have like a really nice consistency for making smoothies. Okay, and this time we will use a, put a little bit honey. Okay, the bear like to keep the honey for himself. Quick tip, if you want honey faster, just put it few seconds in the microwave. Nice! Okay, this is just for flavor, we don't want to put too much. Let's see how we can go with the coffee smoothie. Oh, looks like a latte. And I think this one looks ready. Okay, I only have four glasses for the smoothie. Since this is like a little bit different, I will use the mason jar. Nice. Okay, so for the peanut lovers out there, we will make the peanut butter smoothie. So basically, it's almost the same as the other recipe with the coffee, but we will replace the coffee with the peanut butter. Let's just start with the peanut butter. So just take, you know, like a, a nice fat tablespoon. Or maybe two. Then we will add our cocoa powder because cocoa powder is really nice with peanut butter. Then some frozen bananas, milk, and here we will just finish off with uh, also a little bit of honey. Oh, let's just add a little bit more milk. Okay, people, are you ready for the final smoothie blending? Nice, and our peanut butter smoothie is ready! Okay, people, uh, just gonna put them all in the fridge and then we'll be ready for tasting! Okay, people, so here are the five smoothies, nice colors. You know, let's be honest, and then uh, I will, I ask Mike for, uh, from my office to help me uh, taste test all the smoothies, uh, see, you know, which one he really likes, uh, which one would be the best one. Let's check it out. Hello, Mr. Mike. It's time for taste testing. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this is tasting room. You can sit on the chair. Okay, so let me introduce you the smoothies. Uh, so on your right side, my left side, we have the Keto Raspberry Cheesecake Smoothie. Cheesecake? Yeah. Nice. Then we have the green smoothie with avocado and spinach. Then we have for the muscles some blueberry protein smoothie. Wow. And then we have the peanut butter smoothie. Nice, I love peanut butter. And then we have a coffee smoothie. Oh, and that's a good way to finish. I'm starting from here? Yeah, it depends how you want, you know, because... I think yeah. it'd be good to finish with a coffee. So if you want... You can like, you know, give a little mix. Okay. Cream cheese? 
Yeah. Definitely creamy. It's thick and creamy. Nice. I like thick I and creamy. I don't taste the... Did you say raspberry? I don't taste a lot of raspberry in it though. Okay, it so more maybe... It's cheesy than raspberry, but... So maybe more raspberries. I would. I'd add a little more raspberry to that. Okay. It's very good, very creamy and filling. So Should I have a, like a glass of water to, to, you know how they do in the fancy restaurants where you clean your palate? Of course, sir. Yeah. Everything what you wish, my okay. friend. Let me get Please some. sit down. Okay, you get it. So we're looking for the best tasting. I think they should be all the best, but we can have favorites. Thank you. Okay. So this is the... Uh, Healthy green. Lots of spinach in there. It's almost like having. It's almost like eating pudding. It's very good. This is blueberry. Blueberry protein shake. Blueberry protein. Well, I can tell you right now. I love blueberries. That's uh, definitely my favorite so far. I'll have to get the recipe for this one. This would be a good one to have in the morning, I think. So this is? Peanut butter with milk, little bit of cocoa powder. Yeah, that's good. If you like peanut butter. So is it peanut butter like, what kind of peanut butter? Like. Like ground up peanuts? Yeah, like a really peanut butter. Like a really healthy, peanut tasting, creamy drink. Okay, and this is coffee. So it's basically the same recipe, but I changed the peanut butter with the one shot of nice coffee. You can taste that right away. Wow. That's like almost like having an espresso. Like that's a real punch to the coffee taste in it. You know what? I drink this, I don't feel like I'm drinking a smoothie at all. Oh, so it's... to make it smoothie, normally I use Greek yogurt, but I didn't have Greek yogurt, so I use sour cream. Aha, uh -huh. okay. But it's, it's very strong. Yeah, it's got a lot of punch to it. But it's good, I like them all, they're great. Okay, so do you think these smoothies can be like nice for lunch, you know, to keep going in the day? You know, to have some energy for the next four hours? Absolutely. Yeah, they're very filling. I mean, I'm on the keto diet. That's why I look so good now. I mean, I'm on the keto, but without the K. Like, I, I'm just, like, I'm on the, I guess you call it an keto diet. Okay people, thank you for watching, I hope you learned a little bit about how to make a smoothie in the office. You know, it's really simple, you need a portable blender and then you just put some food inside. A lot of things can be stored in the freezer or the cupboard. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think, let me know if you try out any smoothies and please let me know what you think. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button and then hit the subscribe button with the bell button too. Anyway, see you next time! Hello, Mr. Mike. It's time for taste testing. Oh, 